All right, welcome back to the third and final episode of the Sansi versus the Hidden Harvest Grow Lights. So today in this video, we're going to be picking the peppers. We're going to be weighing them, looking at that data, just overall looking at the plants and talk about a few things. But before we get into that, I wanted to clear something up here. This Hidden Harvest Grow Light, I purchased this with my own money. Nobody has paid me to do these experiments or paid me to say anything about them. Um, the Sansi, however, that was given to me by Sansi, but uh, I have not been paid to do anything. Uh, basically, how all the videos have worked in the past and my experiments that I've done, those are experiments that I want to do myself. No one has paid me to say anything about the products that I've gotten. I've been free to speak about them as I please. Um, so anyways, the reason why I'm saying that is because a while ago with this Hidden Harvest Light, I made a video and it appeared like it was a commercial for this light uh, or an advertisement. And that's not the case at all. Uh, this was actually at a time when I was making videos trying to focus on entertainment value and quality. And it was meant to be an introduction to the light with the experiments to follow as part of a new format. But I was thinking about my followers and not newcomers, so it was perceived in other ways. And this is why I no longer do videos like that. So. With that out of the way, we're going to go ahead and look at a couple things. I'm going to show you something with my PAR meter real quick. Okay, so here I have my Apogee MQ500 PAR meter, and I got the sensor right in the middle at the top of the plant canopy, out of the Sansi side. And you can see we're ranging from about you know 311 micromole or so on average. You can see it right there. Even just moving around just like this little bit changes that number. That's why you're seeing the number jump. So if I go to the other side, go to the middle of the hidden harvest, Put it about the same area right there. Oh, it turned off for one second. And we're seeing right about the same. So you can see here the lights, even though they're at different distances, uh, the power levels are about the same at the canopy. However, what I wanted to show you here is if we move over towards, say, like the outer edge of the hidden harvest, we're looking at about 220, 260, 240, you know, right around there. It averages out. And go around to this side over here, outer edges, 220. Now let's go over to the Sansi. Go ahead and we'll move it out to the outer edges. There, you see that? It's lower. So I was talking about some other, you know, here, here's some hot spots over here. So you can see the over there is jumping up a little bit more. Over here on this side, this is kind of hard to do with my no hands. 260, go over the edges over here, like at 150. So it's not quite as uniform as the Hidden Harvest, and that's just because, you know, we're looking at a panel light versus another light here that has lenses, which is focusing a lot of the light in the center portion, and then it fades off, and it's not even uniform lenses. So you're getting uh, some hot spots and then some really, uh, some not as hot spots, you know, just some less light in other areas in the outer edges over here on the Hidden Harvest side, it's a little bit more uniform. All right, so before we get to picking the peppers, I wanted to point this out here because I know someone was going to ask about it anyways. If you look at this leaf here, it's starting to look a little chloratic and showing signs of deficiencies, as well as some of these other leaves here on the top of the canopy under the Hidden Harvest side. And it looks like maybe a magnesium or iron deficiency is developing. But if you flip this leaf up here and you look at the leaves right underneath it, they all look perfectly fine. It's just the lights, it's just the leaves that are exposed to the uh, most intense light. And if you look over here on the Sansi side, these leaves are starting to show the same thing, just not as pronounced. And under a lot of circumstances, you might think, well, it's the lighting intensity, it's just getting too much light. Well, we just looked at the PAR meter on both of these plants right here in the middle, in the middle of this one, the PAR is the same. And with them being in the same nutrient tub, the same nutrients, the only difference right we're looking at right now is is the spectrum. And I think what's actually happening is the, the spectrum that this is putting out, these leaves here are trying to photo, photosynthesize uh, more than the leaves over here on the Sansi side with the just the uh, single spectrum white light. And that's the only conclusion I can come to looking at this. Now, if you're a, anyone who might be a Maripoco grower, uh, you might understand this as well. Uh, it kind of follows along the same lines as if you're actually trying to grow uh, with more nutrients in your solution and higher, more intense light, you also need to supplement with additional CO2 to, for the plant to make use of it, or it's just going to burn out. And I think that's kind of what we're seeing here under the Hidden Harvest light. 
That's my opinion anyways. Here's the peppers I picked. The container here on the right is a Hidden Harvest and the Sansi is on the left. And these two peppers here were picked at the exact same node on both plants. Uh, the lowest part of the plant, so they're the same age and they're the oldest. And we're going to see if there's a difference in taste and temperature later on in the video here. Here is the Hidden Harvest harvest and there is a total of 619 grams. And here is the Sansi harvest and that is a total of 723 grams. Okay, so I counted everything up and worked out the numbers. The Sansi plant produced 36 total peppers, and the Hidden Harvest plant produced 33 total peppers. And taking the total quantity and the total weight, uh, it produced an average weight of 20 grams per pepper under the Sansi light, and 18.75 grams per pepper on average under the Hidden Harvest light. And here is how much more peppers by weight that the Sansi light produced versus the Hidden Harvest. 104 grams. Okay, so now we're at my least favorite part of any video where I grow jalapeno pepper plants, and that is the taste test. So I'm going to taste these peppers and tell you about them, see if there's any difference, and then I'm going to give you my opinion about the lights. So I'm going to go ahead and start with the one that was grown under the Sansi light and see what this tastes like and if it's any hotter. Not going to enjoy this if it's hot. Okay, yeah, it's hot right away. Oh. That had a bite to it right away. Um, you know, when it's in my mouth, it's not all that bad. When it shoots into the back of your throat, how spicy that is, that's pretty uncomfortable. <laughs> Um, it's pretty hot. And as far as the taste goes, it was a, maybe just like a little bit sweet. And, uh, yeah, uh, it just tastes like any other pepper I've ever tasted. Maybe just a little sweet. So I'm going to have to take a break here for a second and let my mouth cool off so I can taste the other one to see if it's the same. <sighs> Not looking forward to this. Okay, so I'm back and my mouth is about 95% cooled off and I wanted to do something while I was waiting for it to cool off and I wasn't planning on doing this but I figured I would surprise you guys and that is harvest the plants themselves. So I actually wrote down the weight of these plants. I wanted to weigh them and see uh, what the differences were but I wanted to kind of look at them first here. If you see, this is the plant that was grown under the hidden harvest light. And at first glance, looking in the grow tent while they were sitting there growing in the tent itself, it looked like the hid the plant growing under the hidden harvest light was actually growing larger and more dense, more foliage. This is the plant here. Well, here's the plant that was grown under the Sansi light. And honestly, they look about the same once they're out of the tent. Once you look at them and spin them around, they look about the same size. I was thinking that maybe there was more dense foliage on the Hidden Harvest one, but now that I'm looking at them, there, there really isn't. Um, and that's why I weighed them. I wanted to see if maybe one of the plants was actually uh, putting more energy into plant mass rather than uh, pepper mass. So the numbers are as follows. Uh, I wrote it on the leaves here because I didn't have any paper. So the Hidden Harvest plant was 440 grams in total and the Sansi plant was 452 grams in total. So I, I guess it kind of makes sense that the Sansi plant produced more peppers because it was overall just a larger mass of plant. Um, I'm not really sure if that's accurate to say that, but those are the numbers right there and you can do what you want with them. So now let's finish off this video with tasting the last pepper and then giving my opinion about the lights. So this is the pepper grown under the Hidden Harvest light. Not looking forward to it, but. Okay. Not what I expected. Not what I expected whatsoever. Um, that is not nearly as hot as the plant that was growing under the Sansi light. I mean, I bit about I bit off about the same portion, yeah, the exact same portion, right where the seeds are. Um, it tastes about the same as far as like the flavor goes. It's just as sweet. It tastes like a 
you know, like a sweet green pepper, but it's not anywhere near as hot. That's maybe half, if even that. I'll take another bite real quick just to see. Yeah, so that, well, I'll tell you this, it's not comfortable. It's kind of, you know, get right to the, right the back of the throat. It's really irritating, but it's not nearly as hot as the one under the Sansy Light. <clears throat> I would say it's about half the heat. So, um, whew, it's creeping up on me, but still. <clears throat> I'm going to take another break here and come back, and we'll finish up then. Whew, that was a lot of discomfort there for a little bit. Um, I think from now on with my experiments, I'm not going to be growing any more hot peppers if I have to taste them for the experiment. Um, yeah, maybe that was fun for you guys. It wasn't fun for me, though. So I'm going to go back on what I said about the Hidden Harvest pepper. Uh, it was about 75% of the heat versus the Sansy, and I did taste the other ones as well. A small bite and it was about the same um, I was actually kind of surprised I really thought that the plant growing under the hidden harvest light was going to grow hotter peppers just I just assumed that I guess but uh, that wasn't the case so I got to talk about uh, my opinion on the lights and I really I really hate to say it but I have to be unbiased here and I honestly don't think really either of these lights are great value um, they're very low efficiency and they don't really have a lot of coverage. So the hidden harvest light consumes 30 watts from the wall and the Sansi light consumes about 44 watts from the wall. Uh, last time I checked recently, the hidden harvest light versus the Sansi, the Sansi light was $20 cheaper. And if you were to say, raise it up higher, you could get more coverage versus the hidden harvest light. So I really have to say that I don't think that the Hidden Harvest Light is a really great value. Um, having said that, though, I'm really surprised that I was able to grow a full-size pepper plant with that many peppers with only 30 watts. Um, I, I still stand by what I say. I think the spectrum that that puts out is, is pretty good. It, I think it needs to be scaled up, though, to really get a good test because you can only grow so many plants under that particular coverage area, and only doing one pepper plant, it's... It's not a really great experiment because you need more plants to really kind of dial in on the uh, the averages. So we're going to be doing something like that down the road. But for the next video, I think that I might put out, it's going to be testing the uh, one of the things that the Hidden Harvest Light is supposed to be able to do, which is you can hang it like four feet above the plants without them reaching whatsoever. So uh, stay tuned for that experiment. We're going to be doing something like that in the near future. And I think that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.